Former IEBC Commissioner Roslin has come out to make some allegations of a possibility of President Uhuru Kenyatta and Deputy President William Ruto working together secretly. This was after activist Ndugo alleged that the duo might have adopted a military strategy to fool Kenyans after they failed to deliver on their promises. Taking to his Twitter account, Ndugo stated that Uhuru and Ruto are using military deception to deflect the public rage from their failed presidency. He further noted that Kenyans were about to revolt against them so they created a fog of war to disorient people as they consolidate their advantage. Activist Ndugo wrote on on Twitter and I quote, Military deception is what the hashtag Uhuru Ruto duo adopted to deflect public rage away from their failed presidency. They knew you were about to revolt so they created a fog of war, hashtag BBI and hashtag Tanga Tanga, to disorient you as they consolidate their advantage. It's hashtag sips at work, Dr. Roslyn came out to concur with Nduko's assertions. Sharing on her Twitter account, Rose claimed that the BBI narrative from President Uhuru Kenyatta's side and the hustler nation propagated by Deputy President William Ruto are all branches of the same tree. She maintains that Ruto and Uhuru are all deep state who are maintaining their economic interests of the billionaires and securocrats. Rose affirms that President Uhuru Kenyatta and Deputy President William Ruto are still solid together and the outwardly portrayed enmity is only meant to deflect the attention of Kenyans. On point. They are banking on. Hashtag BBI report and hashtag hustler nation are narratives created from the same deep state factory. All to maintain the core economic interests of the billionaires and securocrats who run the country, plutocracy, Dr. Roslin shared on Twitter. This comes at a time when Deputy President William Ruto who used to criticize the BBI on Tuesday disappointed many during the Mashuja Day celebrations when he asked ODM party leader Ilo Odinga to be all-inclusive in his BBI drive. Many people expected Ruto to openly oppose the BBI at Gusii Stadium especially after Ila had just declared that nobody can stop reggae. Unfortunately when the deputy president rose to speak, he appeared open-minded and did not talk tough like he has been during in political rallies. Anyways that's all we had for now, see you on the next blog.